Hello, welcome to All Mama All Right. I'm here with the Z Monster. It's her official name ever since she started crawling. And you know what? She's pretty she's pretty tame, so I'm sure I'm going to need to enhance that monster status to terror or something to that significance. But um but yeah, we just got back after about a Two hour drive from Burlingame. We were at my parents' place last night. They live super close to the airport, so we flew in, stayed the night at their house, and then I did um, a bunch of house stuff. Not house stuff, April, where's your brain? Well, it's not working right now. I feel like, ugh. And, um, and I forgot how when you feel like, ugh, just caring for anything is a lot harder. It sounds like common sense, but sometimes I think prior, I would, I would feel like ish as I would, um, you know, push through, push through work. No, we can't go next to this table. It's too dangerous. Yeah, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's pretty cool. How about Zena? Zena, oh my gosh, it's going to move over here. It's going to move over here. Yeah. Come and lift yourself up up here. And, um... <laughs> it should be interesting. But when you don't feel well, you, you still go to work. Or I know I did. And I would just power through any headache, any nauseous feeling, just anything. I would act as if not. And it's hard to fake it when you're caring for another human. Because, you know, when you're at work, you're still able to, you know, maybe... Um, uh, what is that called when you kind of black out? not from drinking, but just from being in so much pain or not well. Yeah, you can't really do that when you're watching a kid. So, so yeah, so it's been a while since, and I'm sure it's just because travel, because, you know, when you're moving and grooving, oh, honey, come here. We have this ridiculous table that I have to move. It's like, hey, do you want blood 400 stitches and a bloody everything? And I still haven't moved it, because um, it weighs about 200 million pounds. Um, but, but yeah, so we're, we're hanging in there. I think, um, Z girl's quite, quite tired too. So, um, we're going to get to bed early. Zena, look, oh my gosh, look what I found. Hey, Zena, look, look, Zen. I may have to put this down for a sec. Woo! Oh my goodness! <gasps> look! Oh my gosh, all the toys. So many good toys. Back to table. I mean, my back is to the table, not to talk about the table, but. Um, and I was chatting with my mother, and what is, what is allowed cage-wise for a child? Let me rephrase that. I probably shouldn't call it a cage. I should probably call it a play, a welcome, open, breathable play area. Um, I have these pads, but they don't seem to do the trick as you can see. She often pulls them and, which is good. I mean, I guess you're supposed to put them together and pull them apart, but they're not acting as if you're covering the ground for when she crawls and hopefully doesn't crack her head open. And um, she's already hit her head, you know, once or twice on this floor, so we know that it doesn't crack skull, but it does hurt, obviously. So, you know, I wanna cover it as much as possible, and I wanna just keep her contained in a nice, large area. So I, hey, Zena, <gasps> Zena, <gasps> look. What is that? What is that? I just tossed a coaster. Let's see how it does. Okay, she has interest. Okay, she's lost interest. She's going after weights. Come here. Get that coaster. I'm gonna put your sippy cup on the coaster. You learn something. Manners. And um and yeah, so I need I would love recommendations. I'm gonna do some, you know, some searching um and see what works, but we're wanting to put it in the corner of the house of this room, uh, and just main, mainly for cooking. Like, like, if I was feeling better, I would be cooking right now, and I can't, you can't watch a kid while you cook, and I don't want her anywhere near the kitchen, knowing my 
track record with, um, you know, burning butter and, you know, squirting every oil at all, all over the place. Yeah, you think these are, yeah, these are, well, that's a chicken pox scar, but some of these scars I'm sure are grease fires that I tried to put out with my face, apparently. And um, no, giving yourself facials above a stove does not work. And I just, yeah, I'm so happy to be back and just, it feels so nice. Poor little Rio. Where's our buddy? There he is. So he's not doing well. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Want to go say hi to Rio? Let's go say hi to Rio. Where are you going? Um, yeah, he's not doing too hot. He's 12. He's going to turn 13 in July. Fingers crossed. God willing. And, um, he has just been battling cancer. And when you're an older pup, it's harder, it's harder for your body. And, you know, things are working, drugs are working, and then they're not. And then new drugs are working, and then they're not. So we're kind of, you know, at a next round of new drugs and not, um, really knowing how they're going to work out. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so, so keep everyone updated on that, especially on my Instagram and, um, but he just, he, he missed Aaron like crazy and I'm sure he missed, uh, Zena's food sharing quote unquote, or just spillage all over floor and self. Um, so I'm sure he's, he's ready to lick her all over again. And I, we're just going to plop her down because she only napped a little bit in the car, about 45 minutes. So we're going to plop her back down probably just at six at the latest. So we're just going to kick it for, for a few more for, I don't know, what, like another hour or so. And, um, and yeah, we're definitely not on island time anymore or just being back in the in the States, I went to Pete's this morning and it's not like we were in the middle of nowhere. You know, we were in a downtown in Costa Rica and, uh, and I was in Pete's and I was like, everyone needs to slow down. This is, I'm getting a headache. Like maybe that has something to do with why I feel so, so naughty. Oh, not naughty. (laughs) I feel naughty y'all. No, why I feel so poorly. Um, wow. Where is my brain? Um, and, and yeah, ain't that the truth? We didn't, we thought we were even still kind of moving at somewhat of an American pace in Costa Rica. We had to keep reminding ourselves to not, and, um, you can do it, babe. Good girl. And, um, and then getting back, it was, it was just, it was crazy. I was like, am I, am I, am I freaking out? Uh, cause I was trying to stand still and, and then I was getting all like inksy and I'm sure, I'm sure y'all have been to a place. Even my parents said that when they go to Idaho and then come back, it's quite often that they need at least a day or two to recover, to get back into the swing of, um, of everything, California. Um, so, so yeah, come here, babe. You're going under the chair. That's so silly. Whoa, whoa. And, um, so this is going to be one episode that's not, um, you know, as flowy as I would like, but who cares? I mean, that's one of the reasons, you know, I'm starting this and doing this to show that motherhood is messy and you usually can't plan a shite and, you know, even just hang with it. And even these, these videos, you know, hopefully they touch someone or someone can relate and, and I know, hon, you're wondering, what is this thing? I don't know. It's a rubber, it's a rubber rubber. It's a piece of rubber. I'm sorry. I won't touch it. Oh, are you shimmying? Where's the music? She has been loving any types of music. And I think that was one huge thing about um, uh, the islands is there's music everywhere. And so she was jamming this morning. We were just jamming a little together on that xylophone thing. And, um, and... And, you know, she's, she's shimmying right now. So maybe she's just craving some jams. So maybe that's what we will do. After this, we'll, we'll jam on 
And, uh, and then get her to bed early, get mama to bed early, because I want to feel good so I can take care of you, little bean. I can take care of you, because she's, she's worth taking care of at my fullest, at my fullest health. Don't you think? Let's say hi. Say hi. She knows she's so cute. Are you happy to be home? Are you happy to be home? Were you happy yeah. to see g -mon Capo? My parents were so happy to see her. They were like, oh my gosh, she's so big. Even though she brought the biggest poopy diaper when we landed, she saved it, which was awesome because, oh my God, that would have been a nightmare changing on the airplane. <laughs> but I know, I know. <laughs> you would have been doing that evil laugh, wouldn't you? Um, but, you know, saved it. and they were just like, oh, we missed her poopy dimes. So um, that is how much this kid is love and all kids. Oh, <laughs> And any tips about getting sand out of ears? I swear every time like I clean this part of her ear, because I was told you shouldn't go in anymore. Just hope that water gets it. Um, she, <laughs> there's, there's sand. And it just keeps coming and coming and coming. Do you want to go in your jumper? She's really not supposed to be in her jumper until I go take her to physical therapy. But, you know, if she's wanting it. <laughs> You're, are you thinking about it? Are you thinking about it? Yeah, you can, you can play, yeah, you can press those. Yeah, I've been getting to that age, y'all. 15 months. So I heard that the 15 to 36 months is critical. So that means this mama is going to be bringing lots of, holy shit, I can't believe I did this. Holy shit, I, I survived this. Holy shit, she's still alive. Holy shit, I'm having fun. And, um... And, and that's how we survive is just by sharing, sharing our experience, um, strength and hope, hope, hearing other people's experience. I just cannot preach that to myself enough. And, um, and yeah, love, all the love, all the light. This mama is signing off. And if you're not feeling well, hopefully you can just, you know, get, get the little one to bed a little early or pass them off to your partner or heck take them to bed with you and just put on a movie movies are good when you were feeling sick so that's what me might do until g okay we gotta go she's heading to the stairs and those my friends are not safe love